Veterans of the Year, NBC. Breaking news now at 10. Violent threats cause a school to cancel class tomorrow. Lauren Lemanchek is live in New Berlin. Eisenhower. Lauren, what led to this decision? Well, Mike, the district administrator tells me he is not happy at all about having to cancel classes here at Eisenhower High School and Middle School. But tonight they received an email, a second more specific threat about tomorrow, and he felt it was a precaution he needed to take. Administrators at New Berlin Eisenhower have been trying to handle a bomb threat scrawled in the boys' bathroom for the last two days. They didn't think it had much credibility. Many students blew it off. But there's this big assembly tomorrow, so some of them are like worried, but I don't think anyone is really taking it like seriously. Police swept the school yesterday and today with plans for another thorough inspection tomorrow. The school has been on lockdown. Extra squads have also been assigned to the area. That was enough for this mom. And I really trust the administration there, and the kids were fine. But tonight, after a second notice was sent to a handful of people, including today's TMJ4, New Berlin's leaders began to rethink their decision. The head of the district told me he and police have decided they just can't take the risk, so they opted late this evening to cancel school. They need more time to ensure safety. There is a reward of $1,000 being offered for information. The police say they have a few solid leads and they are fully intending to find the people responsible for this. Live in New Berlin, Lauren Lemanchek, today's TMJ4. Hopefully that email will help them track them down. Thanks, Lauren. Breaking news now, a pedestrian struck and killed tonight. You're watching Fox 6 Wake Up News with Mark Concanon, Kim Murphy, Nicole Coughlin. At a local high school, we are live with the very latest this morning. And you watched it here live. Also a developing story this morning. Police trying to find out who is responsible for close. Breaking news right now in Milwaukee. We're also tracking a developing story right now out of New Berlin. Police there want to find the person who forced Eisenhower High School to close. That person could be criminally charged. Nicole Coughlin live in New Berlin with more. Nicole. Yeah, good morning, guys. I can tell you the person or people responsible for this threat are about to find themselves in a whole lot of trouble. New Berlin uh, School District taking this very seriously. And as you said, classes today canceled at New Berlin Eisenhower Middle and High School. Now, district leaders made that call to cla castle cancel classes, that is, after they found a threat Wednesday. The first threat was found out Wednesday afternoon etched on the boys' bathroom here at school. Families were immediately notified of that first threat. And then some staff members say they received a secondary threat via email yesterday. And that is when district uh, officials made the call to cancel classes today. So here is part of a statement that New Berlin Public Schools released. They say that the district has chosen to take precautionary measures and has canceled classes at Eisenhower Middle and High School in the interest of student and staff safety. Again, that is uh, the most information we're getting right now from New Berlin Public Schools this morning. We can tell you that school officials are working very closely with New Berlin police. And again, this investigation underway and whoever is responsible uh, looking at some serious consequences here. We're reporting live this morning in New Berlin, Nicole Coughlin, Fox 6 News. Nicole, thanks. Middle and high school, New Berlin Eisenhower, and says that there was some sort of threat etched in the boys' bathroom on Wednesday, so class is canceled there as a precaution. And school leaders say they're working closely with New Berlin police to get to the bottom of this threat. Plead guilty to a felony and a misdemeanor in his state case. Prosecutors originally charged McGee with seven felonies and five misdemeanors, accusing him of election bribery and conspiring to have a man. Well, some people think that Boston College has gone a bit too far. Since July, Victoria your secret has been selling university themed clothing at some of its stores and that's got some of the catholic school's alumni up in arms they feel bc shouldn't be merchandising with a sexy lingerie store just appalling and disgusting and disgraceful that boston college a, a jesuit school and at least uh, slick roads this morning that caused eisenhower for a bomb they didn't find one but by late afternoon they did have a suspect an 18 year old new berlin man a student at Eisenhower has admitted to his involvement in the email bomb threat that had been made on Thursday, November 13th. That was Eisenhower's second bomb threat this week. Wednesday, a bomb threat was scrawled on a men's room wall. Police won't say if the two are related. Meanwhile, it was the buzz among kids with an extra day off. If school hadn't been canceled, Nicole Chartier says she would have asked her parents if she could stay home. 
That's what me and my friends are trying to do because we were like a little scared because we had like an assembly where we we're all going to be together for boys state for volleyball and then they could have just done it there. I'm pretty sure that's like what everybody was worried about. You hear those things <clears throat> in other parts of the country and you know that it can happen anywhere and you know you have to take it seriously. School will resume on Monday. I feel that school is safe. I will be sending my child to that school on Monday. I will be in that school on Monday. It will be safe. The 18-year-old has been released on his own recognizance. Police say he is not a danger to himself or anyone else. Police will not tell us what direction the investigation is going in or if their suspect is responsible for the first bomb threat earlier in the week. In New Berlin, Julie Feldman, Fox 6 News.